first installment of our Security Fabric series, we will introduce you to the Fortinet Security Fabric, its initial setup, and how it can improve visibility in your network. This is the Security Fabric topology that we will be using in this demonstration. A core FortiGate managing first and second floor FortiGates, each with several endpoints on each floor. A Forti switch is connected to the second floor FortiGate, and a Forti analyzer is connected to each FortiGate providing statistics on their logs. Before looking at the security fabric, let's look at what it's like before the Fortinet security fabric. From within the security fabric topology, you can see that the FortiGate core is available. Behind the FortiGate core are a couple of devices, which are actually the Forti analyzer and the FortiGate first and second floor device. These devices appear in the topology, but what we do not see is any of the endpoints, servers, or other traffic behind them and none of the information about the applications that are available. Here in the logical topology, connections are available, but what we don't see are vulnerabilities or anything about the endpoints. If you view the user and device section under device inventory and expand these devices, you'll see the same thing. In this area, we have multiple 48s and several servers connected, but we don't have anything available about the endpoints behind any segment. Now let's enable Security Fabric to show how the visibility improves. Go to the Security Fabric settings and enable FortiGate telemetry. We will wait for the first and second floor devices to join. Because those devices are set up without a group password, when they register, they will appear in the topology as a warning sign. This means the device needs to be authorized on the core FortiGate before it can participate in Security Fabric. To authorize the device, let's click on one of them and click on Authorize. We will also authorize the other device in the topology. After a few seconds, you'll notice that the first and second floor device have actually registered and you now have visibility into the switch behind that device segment. Hovering over the device will give you information about the FortiGate, the topology, and how it's connected to the security fabric. Now let's take a look at the visibility improvements that we have once security fabric is set up. Starting from the dashboard, you'll see the Security Fabric widget. This will show the same topology we see in the Security Fabric settings page, but on the dashboard view. From here, you can see that the 40 gates are connected, the 40 switch is connected, and you can also see that the 40 analyzer is connected to the Security Fabric. This 40 analyzer is configured on the Security Fabric route, in this case, the Enterprise Core device, and synchronized down to the other devices. In that case, the first and second floor 48. Once that's done, they will all lock to the same central 40 analyzer, in this case, 10188.2. You can also see that there's a switch connected in this topology, which is available in the topology tree below. And you can see that there's a 40 client connected as well. From the dashboard, we can navigate to the physical topology to see how that's changed. Inside the physical topology, you can now see that after security fabric is enabled, we have visibility into all of the devices and endpoints behind each of the segments. Behind the second floor 40 gate, we can see a 40 switch with multiple devices connected behind that. There are also devices connected directly to the second floor 40 gate. On the first floor 40 gate, you can see quite a few other devices connected as well. Zooming out the segment will give you information about each of the endpoints. On the right hand side, you can see a device called Harry PC. It has a 40 client logo on top of it, indicating that this device is kept protected by 40 client. Hovering over that device will give you information about that endpoint. In this case, we can see the avatar of Harry as well as the username, Harry Martin, and the number of vulnerabilities detected on the network segment. In this case, the 40 client installed on Harry's computer has detected 5 critical vulnerabilities, 10 high severities, 57 low severity, and 10 information severity. These vulnerabilities are reported up through the security fabric to the core, and they'll show up in the reporting. The topology can be searched. If you want to find any information about any of the devices in the network, you can click on the search box. When you hover over the search box, you'll see all of the options that you can search by. Whether it's the username, the device type, MAC address, the host name, or any of these things, the information will be listed in the tooltip guiding you as to the type of thing you can search for. If I click in here, 
and I want to find where is Harry's PC in the security fabric. Searching for Harry will give me that information. Here I can clearly see Harry is connected on the first floor device in this network segment, connected up to the Enterprise Core. I can also search for other information like the operating system. This will show me where all the MAC endpoints are. This concludes this installment in our Security Fabric Overview series. Thank you for watching. For more videos in this series or other technical videos, visit video.fortinet.com.